In this video, we'll be converting from rectangular form to polar form. And we'll be converting coordinates as well as an equation. First we have these coordinates, and these are in x, y, rectangular form coordinates. What we want to do is convert those into polar form, the radius and the angle in radians. So let's sketch a, a graph. That is, where is this point? 3, 7. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it's about up here somewhere. This is the point 3, 7. What we want to get then is this polar form. That is, what angle is this? First of all, that's our theta. And how far is this directly from the origin? That's the radius, r. Well, we have to consider a few things. And the first thing is, we could use uh, Pythagorean theorem to find the distance r. That is, r squared equals x squared plus y squared, because we could just see this as some triangle. So, we can plug in the numbers, and r squared equals 3 squared plus 7 squared, and I won't bore you with the details there, and you'll just get r is approximately equal to, if we add those and then take the square root, r is approximately equal to 7.616. So we've got our radius. Now, to find the angle in radians, the angle theta, then we have to look at uh, just an inverse tangent function. And that's because tangent, tangent of theta equals opposite over adjacent, or in terms of the coordinates, y over x. So it makes sense then that the inverse tangent of y over x would equal theta. So let's do that. The inverse tangent of 7 over 3, that equals theta, so we'll get theta being approximately equal to 1.166 radians. This is in radians. This is If you had your calculator in radians, then this is what you would get. Now, if you had your calculator in degree mode, or if you wanted to convert this into degree, just in case if you wanted to know, that would be about 66.8 degrees. I am going to write this this pair in terms of radians. So let's put this all together and say that this is r theta, this is 7.616, and then 1.166 radians. Okay, that is converting some coordinates, the coordinate 3, 7, into polar form. Now let's look at the equation. We have 6x minus x squared equals y squared. Well, again, we, we have this idea that r squared equals x squared plus y squared. So if you see anything that has x squared and y squared and you could uh, do something to get the x squared and the y squared together, then do that. So we can rewrite this as 6x equals x squared plus y squared. And now we see that. We, we can just replace x squared plus y squared with just r squared. Before we do that, because I'm going to also replace this x with something, let's look at this identity. And that is, when you look at a triangle and just the, the uh, identities in trigonometry, we can say that x, this adjacent right here, this equals the radius times the cosine of theta. And, and y equals the radius times sine of theta, although we don't have a y in this equation, but that could be helpful if you have another equation. So even if you didn't know this r squared equals x squared plus y squared, even if you didn't recognize that, you could always just can, uh, revert to, to this and just plug in r cosine theta for every x and r sine theta for every y and then do the algebra to... to uh, cancel some stuff out where they needed to be and make it lo look nice and pretty. So we will do that, plug some stuff in. We've got instead of x, I'll put r cosine theta. So writing that, we get 
6 times r cosine theta equals, as I promised, just r squared for the x squared plus y squared. Now let's just play a trick on this, divide everything by r, and so this gets nice and simple, and we just say that 6 times cosine of theta equals r. A lot of times that would be written r equals 6 cosine theta, but the, the result would be the same.